Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss uh, the new topic, gaseous state. So behavior of gases or gaseous state, we say. So the gaseous state uh, is nothing but, we have three states of matter, you know. The matter will exist in how many states? Three states, okay? So gaseous state, liquid state, and solid state. At room temperature, we are discussing. So any matter exists in how many states? Three states. Solid state, liquid state, and gaseous state at room temperature. They are called standard physical states of the matter. Okay, suppose you take water. Water, standard physical state is what? Water, liquid, liquid state. But the water, liquid water, can also exist in vapor state, gaseous state, and also in solid state, that is ice. So the standard physical state means the physical state of H2O at room temperature is what? Liquid state. The liquid state is called what? Standard physical state of water. Okay, so like that here. So any such, most of the substances will exist in what? Three states, solid state, liquid state, and gaseous state. Okay, so we can divide the matter. We can classify the matter into three types. What are they? Gaseous state, liquid state, and solid state. And also, when you take solid or liquid or gas to extremely high temperature, to extremely high temperature, at high temperature, what happens? Solid or liquid or gas, anything will exist in the form of plasma state. Plasma state is the fourth state of matter, which will exist at very high temperatures, at extremely high temperatures. That is plasma state. Okay. So in plasma state, ions and electrons will be in equilibrium. Ions and the Electrons will be in equilibrium in which state? Plasma state. And the plasma state exists at what temperature? Extremely high temperature. And it is fourth state of matter. Next, coming to Bose-Einstein condensate. Bose-Einstein condensate is the fifth state of matter. If you take gas or liquid or solid, solids are gases or liquids, anything if you take to low temperature, extremely low temperature, at extremely low temperatures, the matter will exist in which state? Bose-Einstein condensate. B-E-C. B-E-C stands for what? Bose-Einstein condensate. That is fifth state of matter at extremely low temperatures. Okay, so if you take solid or liquid or gas to extremely low temperature, at extremely low temperature, all the atoms, all the atoms in solid, liquid, and gas will be clubbed, will be clubbed to form a single super atom. A single super atom is formed in which state? Bose Einstein condensate. Okay, so like this, we can say five states of matter, but at room temperature, how many states? Three only. At room temperature, three states of matter. If anybody asks you, what, what is the number of states of what matter? You say three states only. How many states of matter means three states only at room temperature we discuss. But extremely high temperature plasma state at extremely low temperature Bose-Einstein condensate. So that point keep in mind. So now here one state of matter can be converted into other state of matter. This is called interconversion of matter. Interconversion of one state into the other state. Interconversion means between one state other state we can convert it. This is called interconversion. So now here, if you take uh, H2O, the H2O will exist in how many states? Say three states. In ice, molecules are what? H2O. In ice. In water, H2O. In water vapor also, H2O. So H2O, same chemical composition. Same chemical composition, H2O, H2O and H2O. Chemical composition is same. But what is changing here? The physical state is changing. Physical state is changing from ice to water, water to water vapor. Now here, if you heat, if you heat the ice, ice will melt into water. Ice will be fused into liquid state, that is water. Okay, so this uh, heating means what? On heating, what happens here? On heating, the ice will change into what? Ice will change into water. And the water can also be converted back into ice. The water can be again converted back into what ice? The liquid water can be converted to solid ice. This process is what solidification. The liquid is changing into solid. Na? This is called generally solidification. Solidification. In the case of water, it is called freezing. 
if you keep the liquid water in the refrigerator in the freezer what happens the liquid water changes to solid ice okay so it is what now freezing and don't confuse this with the dry ice dry ice is different dry ice is having co2 molecules that is solid state of co2 dry ice but here ice means what the solid state of h2 so here liquid to solid is called solidification and also this process takes place on cooling on cooling the water on cooling the liquid we get what on cooling the liquid we get solid this is called solidification that point remember next water liquid water can be converted into water vapor that is gaseous state on heating so on heating what happens here on heating the liquid water changes to water vapor gaseous state so in this case now here in this case the liquid state is changing into what gaseous state liquid state into gaseous state on heating that process is what vaporization we say so liquid to vapor is called vaporization or evaporation okay so this vaporization is taking place on heating the liquid water next this water vapor that is gaseous state can again be converted back into water we can convert back into water this phenomena this process is what we are condensation condensation that means what the gas is condensed into liquid the gas is condensed into liquid and here the liquid water can be vaporized into water vapor okay and the solid ice can be fused can be melted into liquid and liquid water can be frozen the liquid water can be frozen into solid the liquid water can be solidified the liquid water can be solidified into ice that is solid so this uh, names of phenomena we have to understand name of interconversion solid to liquid is what liquid to solid uh, liquid to gas is what gas to or uh, liquid is called all these things we have to understand and also we have another interconversion solid to if you take this one here solid to what here gas solid to gas so in the case of solid to gas solid to directly gas or gas to solid generally we use one word called sublimation the sublimation is what the conversion of solid directly into gas so when solid is heated on heating on heating the solid we get what gas on cooling on cooling the gas on cooling the gas what we get solid back so conversion of solid directly into gas is called sublimation on heating and conversion of gas directly into solid conversion of gas directly into solid is called deposition deposition so the gas is deposited in the form of solid on cooling and the solid can be sublimed sublimed the solid can be sublimed into gas on heating so sublimation and deposition okay so deposition means gas to or solid sublimation means solid to gas so this thing we have to understand these are called uh, interconversions of one state of the matter into the other state of the matter okay uh, now coming back to this one here one more condition is what triple point is there here what is this triple point a triple point means all the three states of matter that means what for h2o for h2o solid state liquid state and gaseous state all the three states all the three states will be existing together this is called what now here solidification i'm oh, sorry triple point mm -hmm. triple point is what the temperature the temperature at which the temperature and pressure triple point is what the temperature and pressure at which all the three states of matter all the three states of matter can exist together all the three states of matter can exist together at one particular temperature and particular pressure that point is called what triple point triple point means the temperature and pressure at which all the three states of matter can exist together so here triple point of water is what here at 0.01 uh, degree celsius 0.01 degree celsius means centigrade temperature we have taken at the temperature of 0.01 degree celsius and 4.58 mm of mercury 4.58 mm of mercury at this pressure and at this temperature all the three states of matter that is solid state that is ice liquid water and gaseous water vapor all the three states of water can exist together 
this point is called what triple point that point q so it is what triple point of water so what are the temperature and pressure values of uh, triple point of water 0.01 degree celsius and 4.58 mm of mercury and here if we convert the centigrade temperature into kelvin temperature k is what kelvin absolute temperature k is what here temperature in absolute scale so what here kelvin temperature we say and centigrade temperature it is so how to convert centigrade temperature into kelvin temperature by adding what 273.15 so here 0.01 plus 273.15 273.15 that is what 273.16 is what now here kelvin temperature kelvin temperature so like this what now 273.16 kelvin temperature otherwise 0.01 degree celsius and 4.58 mm of mercury so at this temperature and pressure we have all the three states of matter existing together all solid state liquid state and gaseous state will be existing together that is what now here triple point of water so these values you have to remember triple point values and now one more point what we have to understand is that now tell me when you convert the solid into liquid when you convert the solid into liquid what happens tell me now here in solid we have particles very close to each other closely packed okay but in liquid state what happens there will be some gap between the molecules in gaseous state more gap between the molecules more gap between the particles less gap between the particles and closely packed now when you heat this solid into liquid okay here the particles are not moving the particles are not moving from one place to other place but here the particles are moving in random direction random direction means the particle may move in any direction right in any direction particle may be moving this is called random motion random motion in which case liquid state or solid state in which case the particles are orderly packed orderly arranged here in solid state the particles are arranged in orderly manner orderly manner so this uh, degree of randomness degree of randomness is less here but here degree of randomness is more because the particles are moving in all directions randomly so degree of randomness is more here degree of randomness is less and in this case orderly arranged all the particles are orderly arranged in solid state closely packed but here not orderly arranged so what we have to say solid to liquid solid to liquid the degree of randomness increases when you convert the solid into liquid the degree of randomness or degree of disorderliness degree of disorderliness here the particles are orderly arranged are moving in all directions moving in all directions randomly so degree of disorderliness is more here here degree of disorderliness is less orderly arranged all the particles so when you convert the solid to liquid solid to liquid what is happening tell me here from in this conversion what is happening degree of is orderliness degree of disorderliness is also called randomness degree of disorderliness that is that is called here entropy what is it called man entropy is given by s entropy is called what s so entropy of the solid state increases here by the degree of disorderliness that is degree of randomness that is entropy increases entropy value increases in which case if solid converts into liquid if solid converts into liquid the degree of disorderliness that is degree of randomness or the entropy value increases the degree of randomness or degree of disorderliness is also called what entropy this entropy of the system changes how how it changes here increases or decreases increases the entropy is given by which letter s entropy increases when you convert solid into liquid again when you convert the liquid into gas here also the particles are moving randomly all directions all directions and in which case more disorderliness will be observed in gaseous state or liquid state where degree of disorderliness is more in gaseous state still the degree of disorderliness is greater more the degree of disorderliness 
more entropy more the degree of randomness more entropy so more entropy for gases and less entropy for solids so which will which will have gases will have least entropy least sorry highest entropy highest entropy why they have more randomness so highest entropy so among the three states here highest entropy entropy means what degree of disorderliness is highest for gases that point first keep in mind next one degree of disorderliness is least for what solids so for solids what now least entropy least entropy entropy is given by which letter yes that point keep in mind next thing what we have to understand is that in which case the kinetic energy of the particles will be greater in solid state or liquid state or gaseous state where the particles are moving very faster in gaseous state the particles are moving very faster so velocity is greater here velocity if it is greater kinetic energy also will be greater here kinetic energy is given by formula half into mv square half mv square so more the velocity more kinetic energy so which state of the matter has greater kinetic energy so this gaseous state so highest kinetic energy also we say highest thermal energy thermal energy so which will be having more thermal energy gaseous state which will have highest kinetic energy gaseous state which will have highest entropy gaseous state so gaseous state has what highest entropy second point highest kinetic energy and thermal energy t means for here thermal energy so thermal energy is greater thermal energy is greater and also and also what kinetic energy is greater so kinetic energy and thermal energy both are highest for gaseous state highest entropy for gaseous state okay so these points we have to understand and tell me which will be highest for gaseous state compressibility will be highest or least compressibility means what if you apply pressure on any system on any state if you apply pressure what happens that system will be the state will be compressed if you apply pressure on the gas the gas can be compressed or not the gas can be compressed the decrease in the volume the decrease in the volume on applying pressure is called what compressibility compressibility so compressibility is highest for what gases gases have high compressibility property so they are highly compressible and which will have least compressibility solids they cannot be compressed all the particles are already closely packed still if you apply pressure also that cannot be compressed so least compressibility for solids highest compressibility for gases all the properties already we, we have discussed in earlier classes the gases properties and the properties of liquids and properties of solids so where inter particle distance is greater inter molecular distance is greater in which case gases the distance between two particles highest in gaseous state and inter particle attraction inter molecular attraction is least in which case gaseous state as particles are away from each other in gaseous state the attraction between the particles will be least so least inter molecular attractions least inter particle attractions in gaseous state so these all properties we are going to discuss okay so main point what we have to understand newly is that thermal energy is highest for gaseous state entropy is highest for gaseous state whenever we convert liquid into gas the entropy increases or decreases entropy increases that is degree of disorderliness increases degree of randomness increases when you convert the liquid into gas that is why entropy value increases so this point mainly we have to understand about what the inter conversion of the matter and the temperatures we have to remember so what is the temperature at which solid melts into liquid if the solid is melting into liquid at particular temperature that is called melting point melting point or melting temperature and the temperature at which the water converts into water vapor the liquid converts into gas is called what boiling temperature boiling temperature boiling point boiling point is what the temperature particular temperature at which the liquid state changes into gaseous state okay 
so that, that is what now uh, melting point and boiling point okay so next if you convert the gas into liquid if you convert the gas into liquid that process is called what condensation and the temperature at which the gas changes into liquid is called what condensation point condensation point or condensation temperature and next the temperature at which liquid changes into solid is called the temperature of solidification okay or we say freezing point freezing point means what freezing temperature the freezing temperature is the particular temperature at which the liquid changes into solid so these all temperatures we have to remember boiling point liquid uh, melting point condensation point and sublimation temperature sublimation temperature means the temperature at which the solid directly changes into gaseous state generally we know sublimable substances like iodine iodine solid when solid iodine is heated it converts into gas directly iodine vapors are formed liquid state of iodine is not formed that is sublimation process again when you cool the iodine vapors they will deposit into iodine solid when you cool the iodine vapors they will be deposited the particles will be deposited into solid state so gas to solid is called deposition solid to gas is called sublimation that uh, points you keep in mind so already with these all points you might have heard earlier okay and with the help of ppt we will discuss the same thing okay if you see the diagram here what you can understand suppose solid here in solid all the particles are what closely packed all the particles are closely packed okay so when you heat the solid when you heat the solid what happens liquid state is formed in which the gaps are more between the particles gaps increased here means randomness increased randomness increased means entropy increased entropy value increased that point keep in mind next again on heating this liquid when you continue heating the liquid it will be converted into what gaseous state so when you convert the when you convert the liquid into a gas here by heating means means what by he heating means what by increasing temperature we can convert the liquid into gas and also by decreasing pressure by decreasing pressure on the liquid the liquid may be evaporated into gas when you decrease the pressure on the liquid what happens the molecules of the liquid will go into vapor state evaporation takes place when you decrease the pressure or increase the temperature liquid state changes into gaseous state next again gases when they convert into liquid by cooling by cooling the gas the gas will be converted into liquid state next by increasing pressure when you increase pressure on this gas when you apply high pressure on this gas what happens the compression takes place all the particles come close to each other to form what liquid state so on increasing pressure on the gas the gas converts into a liquid state next how the liquid can be converted into solid by cooling by cooling means what by decreasing temperature by decreasing what temperature so by decreasing temperature the liquid changes into what solid next one more thing what we have to understand is that when you are converting solid into liquid this is called melting i told you melting melting or what fusion f u s i o n so in heat in uh, conversion of solid into liquid the kinetic energy is less here particles are not moving here kinetic energy is greater kinetic energy is greater here so now here from solid state to liquid state kinetic energy increasing na kinetic energy increasing meaning what kinetic energy is increasing indicating thermal energy is increasing here thermal energy from solid state to liquid state increasing when it when energy content of energy of solid is increasing to liquid state initially solid has less energy less kinetic energy and less thermal energy then it is converted into liquid state means the liquid has more energy na than solid that means what happened in this process of conversion of solid into liquid heat is absorbed or heat is released heat is absorbed here heat energy is absorbed in the solidification when heat energy is absorbed this process is exothermic or endothermic reaction this is endothermic process what is this endothermic process endothermic reaction means what the temperature the reaction in which temperature is absorbed or uh, energy is absorbed is called endothermic process 
so the melting process is what endothermic process endothermic process next if you observe this liquid into solid now liquid state changing into solid state here initially liquid state has what more energy it is converted into less energetic solid less energetic solid so more kinetic energy for liquid molecules less kinetic energy for solid molecules now more energy state is converting into less energy state that means what happened in this process some amount of energy is released here some amount of energy is released so when energy is released that process is what exothermic endo so this is what now here exothermic reaction which one is exothermic reaction conversion of liquid into solid the conversion of liquid into solid is what exothermic phenomena so exothermic and endothermic when we say if heat energy is evolved it is called exothermic reaction if heat energy is absorbed it is called endothermic reaction so like this exothermic reaction endothermic reaction also we have to understand in conversion of solid into liquid heat is absorbed so endo in conversion of liquid into solid heat energy is released some amount of energy is released that's why more energetic liquid is changing into less energetic solid that point we have to keep in mind next again when you convert the liquid into gas liquid to gas we are heating na we are heating means what is happening heat energy is absorbed heat energy is absorbed here energy is absorbed means what again endothermic phenomena endothermic what liquid to gas is called what evaporation liquid to gas is what evaporation evaporation is exothermic endo endothermic reaction and conversion of gas into liquid gas into liquid gas has more kinetic energy and thermal energy liquid has less kinetic energy and thermal energy now more energy state is changing into less energy change uh, less energy state now when gas is converted into liquid what happens in this process heat energy will be released that's why it is called what now here exothermic phenomena it is exothermic it is endothermic so this is what gas into liquid is called condensation the condensation process is what exo and this evaporation process is endo endothermic process so this way we have to understand what which is exothermic reaction which is endothermic reaction okay it is one of the important areas and these all properties of gases liquids and solids i will be sending today please go through all those so what are properties already you know that all these things here suppose you take here Uh, gases have no definite shape okay they can fill uniformly any volume available and they have uh, what here um, definite uh, they, they have no definite volume here so that means what when you take a gas in gas cylinder that uh, gas cylinder volume is equal to the gas volume whatever the cylinder volume that is equal to what gas volume so gases have no shape and also no definite volume okay they will take the volume of what container in which they are stored okay and also they take the shape of container anyhow there is no particular shape for gas we have to say so no definite shape no definite volume for gases and extremely disordered particles means that the degree of disorderliness is greater here the degree of disorderliness is greater the degree of randomness is very high the degree of randomness is nothing but entropy entropy is very high here for these particles and much empty space will be there here in gaseous state the empty space will be more bit between the gas molecules because the gas molecules are away from each other intermolecular distance is greater that is why much empty space will be available and the gaseous particles have random motion random motion means in all possible directions not in a single direction in any direction the particles may be moving randomly so the degree of randomness is greater the degree of randomness or degree of disorderliness is called what entropy so entropy is highest for gases and intermolecular attractive forces are very small because the distance between the particles is greater na so intermolecular attractions will be least here but high kinetic energies when kinetic energy is high uh, thermal energy also will be greater thermal energy also will be greater because the particles are free to move in all directions that's why kinetic energies will be higher and the gases have low density low density because of greater volume occupied by gases when volume is greater density will be lesser density is equal to mass upon volume volume and density are inversely related that's why more the volume of the gases less density will be there 
okay next one compressible gases are compressible means what the gases can be easily compressed the gases can be easily compressed by applying what high pressure and the gases are nothing but fluids here gases come under what fluids gases come under fluids and also what here they have uh, diffusion diffusion property they have what diffusion property means what they can diffuse very rapidly rapidly means fast they can uh, diffuse very that means uh, they diffuse very fast from one place to other place fluid fluids means what now which can flow the substance uh, the substances which can flow are called what fluids so the gases and liquids together called fluids which can flow from one place to other place okay and they diffuse very fast means what the diffusion is very high for gases so these all points you try to understand and the remaining properties of liquids and solids i will be sending please go through that later okay ma bye good day